I'm telling you, it's a Leo here. A lot of you going to move in with this Leo that lives across the world or something. And y'all going to be living together and having nogi nogi, right? A lot of people are going to be messaging you, telling you the truth. It's almost like a few days of the month you're trying to distract yourself or trying to... Almost like you don't really want to deal. So then it's like, this individual is going to be heartbroken and devastated, but like, what did they expect? Some big decisions to make when it comes to love. Hello, Leo. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starzy Zayat here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is for October 2024. It's a general read. Take what resonates. Sleep what doesn't behind. Crosswashers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. With all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So, Leo, what do we have here the month of October? What do we have? We have you guys. I am going to count that on the side. So, the sun, strength on the side. Here we have Mercury and transit, the lover's magician, and the hermit, Gemini, Virgo. And then we have number three, the empress, Venus. Getting, uh, excuse me, Venus in transit, Taurus, Libra, energy. So, you're in your power, Leo, the lover's. Is going to be at the bottom. Six of Swords. Leo, I feel like some of you, yeah, Six of Swords, Lovers, Judgment. Okay, so it's two groups of Leos here. It's the first group that I'm getting is a group of Leos that are done with love. They are not interested in that having that this lifetime. Um, they're good on that. They just want their money, their peace, and their health. And then there's another group of Leos, Group B, who you're going to be moving in with someone right away. Like within a month or two, you're going to be moving in with some type of soulmate. Yeah, this soulmate, they could be another Leo like you. But judgment, nine of pentacles, Leo, this month of October, you'll have some, some big decisions to make when it comes to love, regardless of if you're single, if you're dealing with new or dealing with past, like you have big decisions to make. And this could even pertain to family members that you just, you cannot get on the same page with, right? You just can't get on the same page with a family member here or your sibling, that may not be for everybody, but some of you, that's what's happening here. Or it could be your son, your daughter, your mom, your dad, okay? Um, this is a month where relationships play a key role. And the kinds of relationships that you want in your life. I feel here that someone is realizing that marriage is not for them. You know, noki noki kissing like that's just not for someone this lifetime and i think somebody here is realizing that they kept trying to force those things and that's why relationships always ended in disaster like somebody here is realizing this or something someone here is making the choice to be like a born again version a born again um you know someone that's just not going to be into love and whatnot but Regardless, I feel like the overall theme here is who's staying in your life and who has to go. That's what I'm getting from your energy, Leo. Let's keep going. What else do we have love of October? Eight of Wands. Yeah, Spirit saying yes. Ace of Swords. You see, a lot of you is someone that is at a distance. And they're about to do a pop-up. Okay, for a lot of you, this is either a Gemini, a Leo, Scorpio. But they're about to do a pop-up. They're about to come out of nowhere. And it's going to be up to you if you travel over there to them. Ace of Swords. Because this individual, I feel like they do live rather far from you. But it's like there's a door opening here with another energy. A soulmate. And they're going to want you to move in right away. Empress. Look, the devil. 
This fell out on a side. What's this? Queen of Pentacles on the side. Eight of Cups, Emperor. So I do see you're really... Oh, Leo, you... You're going to be going through some emotions. It's some stuff that does need to come up to the surface, okay? The spirits are bringing up to the surface. And I do feel like a lot of you had a specific person that you were destined to be with this lifetime and things did not pan out with you and that individual. So it's like the like walking away for good type of energy for a lot of you from this emperor or who you thought was going to be an emperor and you were going to have a happily ever after with. This energy is hitting y'all hard. I don't know if it's eclipse season. I don't know what it is. If it's all the squaring, the moon keeps doing, but it's just hitting y'all hard, okay? You could have like Chiron retrograde and a strong placement in your chart. You could have been born during Chiron retrograde, some of you. But your Chiron in your chart, it could be going through stuff. Seven of Wands, what's this? Five of Cups, yeah. Somebody doesn't want to let you go, but you know they have to let you go. And you have been let them go. And so it's going to be some emotions. There's also some Leos here that they claim to already be over it. But Spare's going to show you some shock because you are going to be emotional about this. There is stuff that's still there that's going to come up to the surface with the eclipse season. Because we are in eclipse season. So then we have Hierophant. Okay, so here's what's happening. Y'all are aligning yourselves trying to be with a Leo, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Right now, those are the three energies that I'm feeling, okay? And all of them are well off. All of them are uh, right more than a match for you. I feel like you would be happy with either one of these three. But like I said, I feel like um, there was like a specific plan here, and it's not panning out. Um, at least not this lifetime. You and someone else, like, I'm not seeing anything here panning out with you and a specific person. Just these three energies, the Leo, the Taurus, and the Virgo, they're all new. They're all new. So whatever happened with someone here who could have been like your divine counterpart, twin flame, this is the month where you realize like that cycle is over for good. But there is going to be emotions and the eclipse energy is going to yank it all up. Again, I feel like Leo, you're really looking around. You could feel like you're the outsider or the black sheep, or you could just feel like this mom, not a lot of people understand where you're coming from. There's something here about you feeling like you're on the outside. I do see that there could be some nookie nookie or a hookup or you taking things fast with that Leo energy here or the Taurus. I feel like the Virgo's more into the future. I feel the Virgo's more a few months ahead. It's not now, but their energy is strong. The Eight of Wands, Empress, a lot of people are going to be messaging you, telling you the truth about what someone was saying or what people were talking about, the gossip, okay, the town, people, the community. There's definitely some type of revelation here with the Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Empress, but you already knew it. You see, you already knew if anybody was saying stuff about you to the town, you already knew what it was, okay? You see how... She is looking at that crystal ball. You already knew what was being said. So I feel here that this there is some like confirmation, like what you have been receiving through the ethers, the downloads and whatnot. I do get that you're receiving confirmation, physical confirmation at that and physical proof from people. Yep, I'm going to get a YouTube comment notification from people coming towards you and telling you like, hey, so-and-so was saying this about you. So-and-so was spreading this rumor about you, and it could even be this emperor that was doing all of this. Nevertheless, I do see that this month, you definitely have to drink more water, okay? More and more water, Leo. Lots of water, okay? Hydration. You may want to invest in some electrolytes. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, of course, touch base with a medical professional, but... <clears throat> I'm just getting something here about someone is not drinking enough water, and I'm also getting something here about kidneys. Somebody's kidneys could want more hydration, so do water up, okay? Because we are bla being blasted with energy. I see here, Leo, that this month you're very much dealing with this romance stuff, and I feel like you're going to try to distract yourself with work and just staying busy and 
reading books, watching TV shows, playing video games, okay, cooking random stuff in the kitchen. I do feel like you, it's almost like a few days of the month you're trying to distract yourself or trying to, almost like you don't really want to deal. Honestly, sometimes I get that some of y'all are going to want to be alone and not be bothered by anybody just a really it's a heavier energy for you guys damn but you know we go through the ebb and flows of the universe right we all do i do see that your relationship with god is getting stronger okay with the most high it's going to get really strong this month you're going to feel very connected to your guides and the spiritual realm, the spiritual world, you're going to take a keen interest into the more spiritual aspect of life rather than the physical. Um, but I do feel it's almost like a turbulent time period when it comes to your emotions. Your sleep could also be weird. We have Queen of Swords and Knight of Wands. Yeah, I got something here about charting course, making your next move. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. Wow, that's a lot of court cards. Death, Six of Wands. I'm hearing Outside by Ellie Golding. Ten of Wands, Four of Wands. That King of Cuffs had been at the bottom when I took out this Death Six of Wands, yeah. <sighs> you know, even though you're going through all of this, Leo, you are going to experience some type of major victory the month of October. Like, there is a major victory, and I do feel like it's having to do with the finances. Like, your hard work finally paying off everything that you put forward, Okay. Especially with the dev, dev here and the Eight of Wands, your life is getting ready to be changed. I, Leo, you know what? This time around, this time around, 2026 or 2027, you're going to be married. The most of you, even those of you that, you know, you're saying you don't want a relationship, you're done with that. I do see you being married by 2026 or 2027. Y'all going to be married. Y'all going to be in a home with your love and you're going to be living that couple's life you are i feel that it's just a lot of emotions and i feel like somebody here could be projecting what they you know their heartbreak but you see this emperor if this is this emperor that's projecting this heartbreak onto you because now you're moving on that's their issue because there's nothing stopping this emperor from coming towards you and proclaiming the love and desire that they have for you the emperor and empress came out so this was somebody's twin flame or divine counterpart, but they chose not to step up for the journey this lifetime. So now they're heartbroken that because they're going to hear that you done moved on. Some of you could end up getting pregnant this month, okay, by the new person. So then it's like, this individual is going to be heartbroken and devastated, but like, what did they expect? You know, if you're an emperor watching this, okay, you're one of these DMs that ran from your Divine Feminine. Please let your Divine Feminine know how you feel and actually do the work. Because the heartbreak and anguish that these Emperors are about to be under, it's like, y'all did it to yourselves. You, like, I don't, it's not every Emperor. Because Lord knows that there are some Empresses out here that are really on their F S H I T. So, you know, I'm not just pointing a finger at the masculines here, because there are some empresses that, you know, but I feel like the, for the majority of y'all, it's an emperor. And they could be an Aries, a Leo, so there could be another Leo, right? They could be Capricorn, Virgo, <clears throat> Libra's also there. But if you're an emperor and you're watching this, please let your, you know, your empress know how you feel. If you've been running from them, you've been trying to avoid them and whatnot, please let them know how, how you feel because they're going to move on. They're going to move on. You know, they're, they're, these empresses or emperors that are waiting for their DF, DMs, they're not going to be waiting forever. 
you know, so there's there's crosswasher emperors here that are watching to get information, and I know they do this. A lot of a lot of my viewers are divine feminines or divine masculines, but I've been getting a download for weeks that a lot of y'all that watch this channel, your person also watches this channel to spy in and get information about y'all and about what you're feeling, and they watch the comments as well. Okay, your specific person, Leo, they watch what you're commenting. I've been getting this download for weeks, but it's like they're watching and whatnot, but they, they don't say anything. So what do they want you to do? You know, like you got to live your life. You got to keep pushing forward. You can't stop for someone. You know, the year is coming to its end. Like how many years has it been? This emperor has been giving you the runabout. Like who has time for this? So yeah. That, that was just a PSA announcement. King of Pentacles is here and Queen of Wands. In the end, it shows you with the Taurus or the Virgo. But you're going to go through a trial period with a, another Leo here. It's a new Leo here. Then there's information coming in from a Libra or an Aquarius. But I feel like this Libra or Aquarius is a karmic. And I feel like they want to be your friend, Leo. They now want to have some type of friendship. I do get somebody doing all their holiday shopping the month of October and finishing it right then and there. I also get someone having to do unexpected traveling, especially with the death and the four of wands. I get here that someone is going to be looking at property, looking at land, okay, and working with a real estate agent. Someone could be working with Century tw uh, 21, okay? But I do see here, Leo, that it's sort of like you're you're pushing through. You're still standing, but you're having to push through this month. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of people here, okay? For starters, there's a Sagittarius, and there is a Pisces here, okay? And I feel like the Sagittarius is tall, okay? If this is a man or a woman, they have dark brown hair, and they have a lot of tattoos or something. I've been picking up on so many people with tattoos as of late. But this individual could have a sleeve and they could have tattoos on their leg as well. They could spray tan, okay? Then there's this Pisces energy. This Pisces could be a barber or a cosmetologist. They could be someone that does a lot with hair. This Pisces is younger than you, okay? They could wear a lot of black. They could have like this emo or goth look to them, but more with more like style, more swag, okay? Um, but this individual, again, I get that their complexion could be fair, okay, light brown hair this time, or a sandy blonde hair, dirty blonde, okay, and they could have brown eyes, I'm not picking up on blue or green eyes here, someone could be Persian descent, you are going to go through a dark night of the soul, some of you are going to dress up as like a, a wizard or something, a superhero for Halloween, that's there as well, Ace of Pentacles, you definitely are going to go to some type of Halloween get-together, okay? You are going to have fun here every now and then. Leo, I feel like you're just... I don't like saying this, but I feel like y'all just trying to survive the month. That's it, you know, one day at a time. I'm just going to be honest. Because the emotions, the world, somebody's having fried chicken, the world. Yep, yeah, I'm telling you, it's a Leo here. A lot of you going to move in with this Leo that lives across the world or something. And y'all going to be living together and having Nogi Nogi right away. I'm, I'm telling y'all, the good health is here. You see, it was just some healing that needed to occur. Yeah, dreams. It was just some healing. Those of you that, you know, you want to be single and whatnot. It was just some healing, some purging that needed to come up. Once you're with this other Leo... And you get used to the routine, like you're gonna feel happy that you know you bonded with someone that you have paired up with someone. I do see here the future for a lot of you, you're going to end up with the Taurus. But for now, everything has to flow. You know, sometimes we have a script over our lives. And you know, well, why can't I just be with this other Leo? Perhaps that's not what's destined. Perhaps it's only destined that the two of you interact with each other and be in a relationship, but then y'all separate, y'all go your separate ways. 
in preparation for, you know, uh, the the next union, your true union. If you have North Node and Scorpio or Gemini, even in Leo um, or Pisces, but if you have North Node in any of those signs, even if you want to remain single, it's going to be very, very difficult because love plays a key role, okay? Especially if you're North Node and Scorpio. Love is and Gemini. Love plays a key role. You know, when we look at what the North Node is bringing, it's going to tell us if love is going to play a key role in our life or if it's not. <clears throat> if it's part of our contract to be in a relationship, the wheel. Divine timing. So you and your twin flame will cross paths again. Like, y'all always going to cross paths with each other, even if you don't want to see, you know, this person, even if you don't want to see your twin. Y'all always going to cross paths with each other because you are twin flame now, and you're supposed to trigger each other like hell. But at this point, I feel like with this moon, divine timing, and the wheel, it's like up in the air. Even the Most High doesn't know if you and this twin flame are ever going to come into union this lifetime. I feel like somebody here has tried many times in this lifetime alone to get with their twin flame to no avail, you know, and has been left feeling isolated by their own person. So, I don't know. I'm, right now, I'm not seeing any type of twin flame union. I'm not saying anything of that. Yeah, boundaries and love offer. I'm telling y'all, y'all the first of the first or the end of September, you're going to be feeling, <clears throat> and beginning of October, you're going to be feeling like you don't want nothing to do with love. But I'm telling y'all, y'all either in October, November, December, y'all gonna fly out there to meet up with that Leo and be living up with them, and then you're going to get into painting and writing. Or they're gonna be flying out to you. This Leo could be either either way, vice versa. But y'all gonna be in that husband wife type of energy. Yes, okay. Wifey wifey hubby hubby whatever. It's gonna be fast, and then you're gonna get into painting and this painting or this creativity. You could say it could be painting. It could be social media, digital media. Okay, graphic design. Um. But then y'all going to be able to make a lot of money doing this. It's something here like being in this new environment. You're going to just be very creative and just this is going to be meditative for you. Yeah, somebody could be taking like shrooms or something. Some, some type of relaxation. Someone here is really on edge. Yeah. You're bored. You're, you know... Leo, I just feel like you're bored of this timeline. Like, like this wasn't what you signed up for or something. I don't know. Like, you could just be over it. You could also have fatigue or something. So, hang in there, y'all. Any final messages? And then we'll close out the read for these lion, lionesses. Any final messages? Let's see here. This love oracle. The wedding. Yeah, social media. Somebody's twin flame going to be crying watching your social media because you're you're on your way you know you're on your way here some of you are going to be a musician a singer a famous singer a famous artist or something a celebrity somebody here an offer a producer yeah an addiction and heartbreak and this somebody's twin flame going to be heartbroken like like what 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 what, what are we going to do with a twin flame that does not speak, doesn't show up, is with third party moving around from bugaboo to bugaboo, okay? Because that's what that is. Wanting to make every single other person their twin flame except the person that they know in their heart. And all because they're too scared to express. What are we going to do with that? Years passing by. The seasons passing by, and this individual done celebrating the holidays and Valentine's Day with their karmic, uploading photos on Facebook and Instagram, and all smiles and whatnot. Like they, and nobody's bitter about this because I'm good on that. Please believe me, I am good. I am good. 
no thank you, not this lifetime for me. I already came to that conclusion a long time ago. But this individual, they want to project their heartbreak onto you when they are the sole cause. Their greatest fear was you, and, and then they're going to be drinking. Their greatest fear was you moving on with someone else and getting married to someone else. But it's just not your issue anymore. Yeah, healing. Friends, you're going to be able to heal. You're going to be able to make new friends, meet new people. And you're going to be able to be in relationship. Because the truth, either way, the truth about what this twin flame did, because that's what this is about. The truth is about to come out about what someone's twin flame did to their own divine counterpart. And once that, the, the message is going to strike home at that point, at that point, it's really going to be done. Because I feel like this individual went and slept with the enemy. They went and slept with the enemy. That's what this is. And how is anybody going to want to lay up with a twin flame that was sleeping with the enemy? Done. Did all kinds of nastiness with you know, the devil's spawn, like, who is going to want to, like, let's be honest, who's going to want to share their body with a twin flame that done was laying up with the bugaboo, not even using protection, nothing, like, that's the truth, that's what's coming out, like, they laid up with the enemy, and now they're going to be heartbroken because you're going to be elsewhere living your best life, but that is your read, that's what I have for you, and I wish you love and light, take care.